I thought I might show you guys what I've been working on with these larger camera boxes here. If you're unfamiliar, these are uh, AI wildlife monitors. They stream the camera data through an object detection model that can detect and identify species out in the wild. I've been putting together a few copies of the two sort of versions I've got. This one here has a sort of smaller internal battery. It's about 220 watt hours. I'm currently powering it and charging the battery via a smaller 60 watt solar panel. The idea behind this is this is a bit more compact and easily transportable and is sort of built for intermittent or maybe daytime or just nighttime use. The battery can power it for about 48 hours with no sun. It's a bit more compact and easy to transport. So I've got a couple of these here and then I've got my day night version I'm calling it. It's got a camera with a switchable infrared filter and infrared illumination and has a much larger external battery here. This is about 800 watt hours and I've got a 115 watt solar panel here and this one is more specced for full sort of 24 hour monitoring and this is continuous streaming of the camera feed through the object detection model and all these versions have Wi-Fi and can transmit the data over 4G to our database. Also working on a thermal camera version that's not there at the moment that has a small thermal camera. So at the moment each one of these takes a bit of time to build. I'm building them all myself and we're just creating a few of them now to have ready if we need to do some trials. We want to put out a whole bunch of them in the field and collect data from all of them all at once to create the sort of distributed network that I'm really interested in setting up and using. If you're unfamiliar, we're based here in Melbourne, Australia. So if you're nearby and interested, let me know. Let me know if you're interested in getting in contact with this or if you have any questions about what we're doing. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.